Hello humans, I'm the alien doctor, but you could call me alien, and welcome to a Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone video, where today I'm going to be explaining the bug Soft Inversion, also known as a Redstone Torch bug. Basically, it's where if you power a piston, the Redstone Torch turns off, and you may be wondering, how is this useful at all in Redstone? Why is this even a bug? And all of that other stuff. So in today's video, I'm hopefully going to explain that to you because if you are new to Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone, you may not even realize that this bug exists. And then you may not even realize how useful this bug actually is. And this bug is actually not even a bug anymore. It was reported on the bug tracker. However, the developers have marked the bug report as not being fixed. This means that that means that this bug is actually an intended feature and will be staying in the game. So the developers basically aren't going to try and fix this bug, which is really good because it means we can use it in our redstone contraptions without having the fear of it breaking. So just to show you this on Java edition, if you flick the lever powering the piston with a redstone torch on it, as you can see, that redstone torch will not get unpowered like it does on bedrock edition, like I just showed you in that intro. Obviously, if you also put a redstone torch on the side of a piston and then power it, the redstone torch will pop off. On Bedrock Edition, you can put things like levers, buttons, and redstone torches and all that sort of thing on the side of pistons and they'll actually stay there without breaking, which is also a Bedrock Edition exclusive feature. But that's not what this video is about. So this bug on the bug tracker was actually created on the 2nd of November 2016. So quite a while ago, and you can see here the oldest version it affects is actually 0.16.0. So this is a really, really old bug indeed. And then as you can see here, resolution won't fix. And basically it kind of explains that your... It, then it kind of goes on to explain the bug and that sort of thing. And um, yeah, we'll obviously go on to explain this in the video. I just thought I'd show you the bug tracker. And as you can see here, uh, a lot of various people have basically said that they don't want this to be fixed. And eventually the developers decided that they're not going to fix it. So using a version switcher, I loaded into the oldest version of Minecraft that the bug tracker says this bug affects, which is 0.16.0, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, as you can see here, this bug even works back then. Originally, I was going to do more of the video in this version. However, it's really hard to work with. Like, look at this UI. I mean, it, it's not nice. It's very hard to do stuff with all of this various issues that there are with this version. Because this is before Bedrock Edition even had its full release. And um, yeah, I mean, you can even see that over there, some funky wool gen. So yeah, I think we'll do the rest of this video in 1.17.11. However, bear in mind that this bug hasn't really changed that much over the years. That's why I'm kind of hearing this old version. It's just to kind of show you that this bug has basically stayed the same ever since it has been added in. And uh, I wouldn't recommend leaving the video now, by the way, because uh, I do just want to point out that you may be wondering how this bug is even useful at all when it's literally just this. However, let me tell you, it is not this and uh, just this. And there are certainly more things that you should know about this bug. So make sure to stick until the very end. Thank you so much for watching. So if I were to show you a setup like this, you wouldn't get too surprised that, you know, it unpowers the redstone torch, the piston being powered unpowers the redstone torch. Obviously, pistons are not solid blocks, which means you can waterlog them. And yeah, they're just not solid blocks. So they have similar properties to glass in the sense that if you tried having a setup like this or this with glass, it would not work. However, ultimately, you can kind of see past that because pistons are, you know, sort of weird. And uh, you can kind of understand this having an effect and this working. However, what if I were to tell you that if you soft powered the piston, the piston still unpowers the redstone torch. That's right. So obviously you can. So for example, if I just show you this with some blocks, you can see here that we are soft powering this block and it's probably easier if I show you with a redstone lamp. So as you can see here, we are now soft powering the redstone lamp. However, the redstone torch does not turn off. Whereas if we soft power the piston, the redstone torch does turn off assuming that it's on the piston so yeah that's one of the reason things that make this bug so strange is that it does that now this is obviously called soft inversion or sometimes people just call it the redstone torch bug 
Now, not a lot of people understand why this is so useful. However, as you can see, if we have a setup here with some redstone torches and then run some redstone dust along the side of it, it does not turn it off because the redstone dust has to be pointing towards the block like this. However, pistons redirect redstone. So if we have a line of pistons here with redstone dust behind it and then some redstone torches on top, as you can see here, it will actually unpower all of those redstone torches which just makes this bug so, so useful. And then as you can see here, it even works if you put obsidian in front of the piston. But yeah, that kind of makes this bug super useful. Now, obviously, a lot of people know that you can also redirect redstone using target blocks. However, as you can see here, powering a target block does not turn off a redstone torch, which just makes this bug even more useful. So obviously most of you are going to recognize this yellow machine. This is obviously just an Impulse SV item sorter, obviously de designed by Impulse SV, originally for Java edition. Now, most of the time this item sorter does actually work on Bedrock edition just fine. As you can see, if we put a piece of redstone dust into that hopper, it will make its way into the chest like it does work fine and stuff. However, especially when you're putting a lot of items into your item sorter, having the Impulse SV design of item sorters often gets a little bit unreliable at times. And the reason it's unreliable is because of this repeater. So we obviously needed a way to kind of get rid of this repeater because that was making this sorter very inconsistent. And sometimes it would work, sometimes it would not work. Now, the answer to that is using the soft inversion bug that we have here to redirect redstone to the piston to unpower this torch. As you can see here, it's exactly the same length. And yeah, it's, its dimensions are effectively the same and it still works the same as the Impulse SV sorter. So this is the item sorter that I would recommend building if you are playing on Bedrock Edition. Obviously we couldn't replace this piston with a target block because target blocks do not unpower redstone dust. And we can't put just a normal block here because if you had loads of these in a line like this, then as you can see, the redstone is not redirecting to the block when you have the torch on it because pistons obviously redirect redstone. So as you can see here, this isn't getting redirected, which means that a setup like this would not work, which is why you have to use the piston. So obviously the item sorter over there is one of the main uses for this bug. You could also do it with something like this where you had some sort of weird, really quick piston clock, which probably could come in handy for something, to be honest. But yeah, this basically, this bug is really useful for just compacting your builds. Like, yeah, it is just a really, really useful bug in general. And obviously, we can't really refer to it as a bug anymore because it's been marked as not going to fix on the bug tracker. So if anything, this bug isn't actually a bug. It's more of a parity issue. However, I'll still refer to it as a bug because it will always be a bug in my heart. However, saying that, this bug or parity issue has been described as being the quasi-connectivity alternative on Bedrock Edition because of how useful it can, is to compact redstone circuits and other redstone contraptions. It's so useful and it kind of has a similar use in making your redstone circuits smaller to how quasi-connectivity does. Quasi-connectivity will obviously is a major help in making redstone circuits smaller. Well, so is this soft inversion bug. It has so many uses and yeah, it is just overall a very useful feature and not enough people really know about it. So I tried to make this video that would hopefully explain it to you guys and a little bit of how it can be used. If you happen to have anything else that you want to add, then please do let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more Minecraft Bedrock Edition technical content. I'll see you in the next video coming very soon. Bye.